a wonderful question. The difference between a lipstick and a lip stain is that lipsticks are made up of waxes and oils. Other ingredients include pigments to achieve a specific color, as well as emollients to help keep the lips moist. Lip stains, on the other hand, is mostly made up of water or gel. Although some products do include natural plant oils or mineral oil, natural ingredients like henna are added to stain the lips up to 18 hours. This long-wearing, smudge-proof effect is one of the primary differences between lipstick and lip stain. Because lip stain is a less viscous formula than lipstick, it can come in several forms, roll-on, gel, or with sponge tip applicator or marker-like tube with color-infused tip. No matter the application method, you'll need to work fast as they set quickly, almost as soon as they touch the lips, to get a plump and pouty look from lip stain. You'll need to apply a thin layer of lip balm for moisture. Then smooth on the lip stain. Even one layer should last for several hours. But you can get more intense color by applying several layers and then topping your lips with a gloss. Lip stains also offer fewer color choices than lipstick does. The lip stains are meant to enhance natural tones, so they're found most often in red, pink, and peach hues. Lipstick, however, is manufactured in an array of colors from the palest pink to deepest shades of red and purple. Cosmetics do not stay on the surface of the skin without penetrating to some degree. If one considers the ingredients being internalized by the body, absorbing plant oils and waxes, mineral pigments, or essential oils is a healthier alternative than absorbing petroleum, byproducts and synthetic chemicals. The ability to choose one right cosmetics for you depends on accurate ingredient knowledge, personal needs and market choices. Caring for one's whole body includes skincare choices that support and contribute to a healthy lifestyle. Natural cosmetic products and makeup are safer, healthier alternatives, especially when these products are composed of all natural ingredients. A natural product is described as one that contains mostly or completely natural derived ingredients. It also indicates that the product is free from or contains minute amounts of artificial chemicals. Caution is required when products claim to be natural. For instance, they may contain small amounts of plant extracts, but the bulk of the product is petroleum based and loaded with fragrances. Instead, Consider switching to completely natural products, which perform to the same standard as their non-natural non counterparts. The difference between natural and organic ultimately comes down to how the terms are defined and regulated. Organic is defined. Organic certifications exist around the world, including USDA certified organic. As a definition of natural, well, there really isn't one. Marketers can label a product as natural, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Make sure you get the facts and learn how to look beyond potentially misleading beauty product labeling. The main distinction between natural and organic beauty products is that the organic ingredients must pass more rigorous standards of purity. In order to become organic, an ingredient must have been derived without the use of synthetic pesticides petroleum fertilizers, and it must not be a genetically modified organism. And of course, for all of your beauty needs, head on over to the Beauty Bar located in the Plaza in Tumon or the Micronesia Mall.